and racing. Best out down on the inside, Corborn Ranger, and uh, showing up with that early is going to be around the outside, uh, Jumping Sally there, followed down on the inside there by Cutie. Checks out wider still as uh, be prepared. They turn. Corborn Ranger and trying hard, Jumping Sally, but Corborn Ranger's holding. Corborn Ranger be Jumping Sally. Three back and photos. We've got Cutie, Checks and be prepared. They're followed by Ackroyd back in the field there to Twister L. And at the tail of the field there would have been another one back there to Ackroyd. And remember, of course, the late scratching of Son of Grace in the first. And racing off the inside, uh, home, Homebush Envy a bit slow and very slow there, Ty Baxter. And best out would have been Corbon Bow and round the outside up there is Maker's Label. They're followed down on the inside, Homebush Envy. Now Avogado's well back, can't do it today. Up they come, Corbon Bow in front over the top. Getting up on the outside, Maker's Label will grab Corbon Bow in the last bound. They're followed back, we go there to Homebush Crash and outside that noble fantasy. Get to the others, headed by Bowman Avogado. They're followed by uh, Ty Baxter and that was back there with Homebush Crash towards the tail there's the running of race two here and uh, you'll find that makers labels made it two in the week makers label will get the prize here Corbon bow led them up makers label sitting in behind abogato just never got on the track today there it is off the track and just uh, not going anywhere is it uh, abogato <laughs> Racing. Emily Patrick Fair, best out would have been Jed Even straight to the lead. Go Nola, but there's Mary Marlowe whipping around the outside. Down on the inside, Emily Patrick a run through. They come towards the corner, but Mary Marlowe's dashed away and it's put half a dozen on them and a couple of bounds. Away goes Mary Marlowe, no danger, beat Jed Even. Then in photos, Go Nola out wider, Emily Patrick. They're followed further back there by Claremont Diva. In behind those runners, then they were followed by Outback Bill Liquish Whip, and they were back towards the tail. Juco to Juco would have been back in that rear pack as well. Oh, but she's just absolutely uh, dealt to them here. Mary Marley off the box as quickly. Yeah, as soon as the box is open, she's always going to win, wasn't she? She was up outside of Jed even in a flash, round of the lead. Uh, getting through there is Emily Patrick. Go Nola still right there. And the, uh, these ones at the back starting to jam up a bit, and away she goes. Mary Marlow, and in a race of her own, she's going to bolt in here. Six will beat the five. And then I th thought it was Go Nola just ahead of Emily Patrick. Six, five, four, one, and out wider. racing and best out would have been Fleur de Lee straight to the lead followed out by She's a Gamble coming around there followed McJopson out off the track bubbling Jed there followed uh, down on the inside there by and now McJopson drifts a bit gap in the field the others headed by Vinnie Baxter up they come two dog war and She's a Gamble got home She's a Gamble Fleur de Lee bubbling Jed there followed McJopson big gap the others Vinnie Baxter followed further back by Sheldon Baxter home was Zelda and Karama's girl there's race four. Yeah, favourites got up here. She's a gamble. Had to work and work, but it's got there. Six, she's a gamble. And the Fleur de Lise, which flew off the boxes, uh, looked the likely winner coming across the top. But no, she's a gamble. had to work here, but it's uh, worn down Fleur de Lise. And uh, then we had Bubbling Jed and out wider McJopson. So it'll be a two, six, eight, one finish here. Two, six, eight, one. Uh, sorry, six, two, eight, one. Six, two, eight, one. Six, the winner, she's a gamble. Set. And racing. And the field away, best out, Mega Girl, and showing up there we've got Flirt with me, shows a bit of early speed, is followed down on the inside, Miss Isabella, and getting around the outside, but white as calm spirit. Little gap, the others, headed by a par, will pull there, followed back, we go, no future. Now, well back at this stage, stitch up with only one behind her, and that's Baby James across the top, Miss Isabella travelling nicely, out by about three, Mega Girl tries hard, but Miss Isabella nicely clear, and Miss Isabella will lead all the way and beat Mega Girl. And then we've got out wider 
it comes. Spirit close up there, no future. They're followed by a power pull after those stitch up. They're followed by Flirt with me dropped out. And the last one home would have been Baby James. There's race five. Miss Isabella off the box just nicely and railed through beautifully at the first corner and it's held them out here. Miss Isabella will beat the four mega girl and then out wide the seven calm spirit and eight no future. It'll be a nine, four, seven, eight finish. There may be a photo just to confirm third, but I think the seven's got there all right. And racing and jumping nicely, Belfast Susie followed out then on the inside by La Fontaine and getting around the outside now we've got Easy Silence, they're followed by up there too as Yaps the Jewel now looking for Faf Pants, it's only got about two behind it, turning for home here great charge here and along the inside I think you'll find Easy Silence might have got there Easy Silence then in photos La Fontaine out wide of Belfast Susie, Noisy Leo on that bunch Yaps the Jewel, they're followed by Hoka Blue Faf Pants never came into it and that was back there with Starburst Paul Great finish here. Easy silence uh, right down on the inside. I think it's charged through to grab the win here. But there are about three or four abreast with about 50 metres to travel. Uh, let's have a look here. In front early, Belfast Susie. Then we've got La Fontaine, Easy Silence. Well, the winning of the race here, it just stayed on the rail. And one or two of these have gone out wider. Still had a length of two to make up, though. It's been a good run. And out wide are still charging late. There was Noisy Leo. So they drive to the post here. The, one, uh, the eight will score, then the one. And racing. And uh, oh, Cool Bear's away very smartly, followed up by Word for Word driving through there, followed by Quiet Snort. Now getting through on the rail, we've got Jenny Harker out wide to drive five out very wide here, 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 around the corner. And Cool Bear's went up and grabbed the lead. Cool Bear will get home. Cool Bear will beat Word for Word. Four back, third, Quiet Snort. Then there's a gap to the others headed by drive five. Out very wide would have been here, here, here. Jenny Harker was closer to the rail. Corborn Polly and TV Kimber. So there's race seven. And Cool Bear, the favourite's done it all right. It's made a great beginning from out wide, hasn't it, Cool Bear? And it's one and one very nicely. So Cool Bear will score, pushing it though word for word. And they went uh, head and head for quite a while. And it was only in the last 50 metres where Cool Bear got the upper hand. So the eight will score over the two. Then we go back to the one quite snort. <laughs> And racing, and off the inside, No Fun began nicely, so did MBD going up to join No Fun, a couple of lengths away to Candy Bell, they're followed up on the outside by Line Honours, now Gil Pride is looking to sneak through on the inside, down the back they go, going up and around the outside, Noggin, so down the back now, and in front, MBD, MBD leading, and going up on the outside, now we've got Line Honours, coming strongly, No Fun, round the outside, Noggin, they turn, still in front, on the outside, Line Honours has grabbed the lead now, though, Line Honours will get home to score. Then we've got on the inside MBD and charging late. Uh, we've got no fun. Wider still noggin. They're followed out wider by Opawa Cassidy. They're followed by Candy Bell. Scott's and Pound never got into it. And that was back near the tail of the field. Line Honours has got the prize here. The four. $4.70, $1.80. Line Honours will score. Good run, MBD. Gutsy run in front, but Line Honours just proved a bit too strong. And no fun. Well, it was up there early, drifted, ran on again, and Noggin was wider. So it'll be a 4-2. Yeah, that no fun's got home for third, all right. So that's good news for our place six punters. And then the seven out wider, Noggin. And racing. 
Off the inside, Willie Wood jumped only fairly, and the best out and straight to the lead is half a mil, and getting around the outside, Beatman showing up now, Willie Wood's got the rail, then three lengths away, getting around the outside, Mulberry Brook there, followed further back there by Hoka Hart, up they come, and Willie Wood's grabbed the lead, Willie Wood, well done, Willie Wood's got the money, and then in photos, a Hoka Hart and out wide, Beatman there followed, half a mil, and then down on the inside, Glen is Goodsy, there followed by Billy West, and that was back with Homebush Austin, Mulberry Brook was back in that rear pack as well. Well, he would's done it for uh, Cullum. Well, he would won the red as the winner. Didn't jump as quickly as it normally does, but it just stayed on the rail, following Harper Meal up on the outside. Well, uh, Beatman had every hope, didn't it? Up on the outside, just goes a bit wide, Beatman, and Wally Wood's just driven off the rail here, gets put through between the two of them, and home for the lolly. First leg of the turbo pick six as well, ready. And racing off the boxes very quickly. Chevy Chevelle out wide is followed up then by Hilton Friday. And here's attack wide coming around the outside now. Little gap to the others headed further back there by. Out wide make your point there followed by Roxy Rascal around the corner. Attack wide has zoomed through on the inside to grab the lead. Attack wide has got there. Second Chevy Chevelle five back make your point. There followed Hilton Friday up there and also along the inside Roxy Rascal. There followed by another snazzer. And towards the tail we'd have Junior Watt and... Uh, Go Timmy was back in that rear pack as well. But attack wide has been too strong here. Good run the eight, Chevy Chevelle. Gave the favourite plenty to think about, but uh, look, once attack wide got round and then underneath Chevy Chevelle, um, it's just proved a bit too strong in the run home. So whichever way you went, whether you anchored the seven or whether you put the eight in for a bit of cover, uh, you've grabbed it. So well done. Seven will beat the eight. And then there's a big gap to make your points run a better race today. And then the two Roxy Rascal. And racing, and uh, off the boxes quickly, Corbon Herdo, followed out by Jackson Jewel, and they're followed, uh, getting around the outside now, we've got uh, Blue Gale right, and even wider still, getting around the outside, right round range, running on, sneaking up on the inside, Starburst Benny, up they come, Jackson Jewel, Starburst Benny, and out wider, right round range, three-way photo, they're followed by, in behind them then, we had Gold Star Jenny close up, they're followed further back there by Corbon Herdo, then Blue Gale Rise, followed further back there by uh, towards the back there at night to express and home was Noz uh, would have been in that rear pack as well. Photos all over the place here. What a finish. What a great finish. Jackson dual prominent. And racing, and the field away, jumping nicely. Big token off the inside, has got the jump today. Followed out there by Wandy Destiny, going up. Uh, they're followed off the track now, getting around them, but very wide out of version. They're followed down on the inside, another street. They're followed further back, Sestervine, up they come. And then front along the inside, big token. Big token does best beat Wandy Destiny, and out wider aversion. They're followed in behind them by. Uh, we had another street close up. They're followed by Sestervine. Now back behind those runners, we had Murder Noms. Uh, they're followed by Dinah Diego and Hotshot Lawyer back in that rear pack as well. That's the way they finished at the final event. And Big Token upsets them here. Big Token hasn't been jumping of late, but got the jump beautifully uh, today off the inside. And Wandy Destiny threw on the inside there. Another street out very wide. We had a version as they turned the corner. But up they come and nicely clear here is the one Big Token. And we'll kick away and score. It'll be a 1-3 Eight, two, finish.